Uh, good evening class. Uh, my name is Mauricio. I'm gonna go ahead and be doing my personal video takeaway for the course now that we're at the very last end of it. Um, I went ahead and wrote down the five questions that are in the instructions so I can go ahead and I will be reading them out loud and then answering them as I go. So here we go. Let me just finish writing this. So the first question says, how has your view of leadership changed given the course and materials pre uh, presented? Um, well, going into this, um, when I found out the name of the course, I thought it was just gonna be like very broad, I guess. Um, I didn't know I was gonna go deep into specific types or, or styles of leadership. Um, I personally thought it was, before taking this course, I personally thought leadership was just, um, you know, I'm the leader, here are the orders, here are the instructions, here are the rules, and that's it. Um, I've only, I guess the reason for that must be because I, um, I started working at a very late stage in life. I know I have friends who have worked since they were 16, 15. Uh, but for me personally, I started working my very first job I got, I was 24, if I believe. And then I'm 33 now. Um, and <clears throat> the bosses or the upper management, upper management that I've gotten have been pretty much like that per se, especially my first, very first job, which was at a call center. Um, I, they, they were pretty much here, the rules don't pretty much answer back or, or give any pushback, just do as you're told and pretty much that's it. Um, <clears throat> it got a little different, it got a little different when I switched over to the healthcare field uh, back in 2015. Uh, the managers or the supervisors that I had in that position, they were more understanding, I guess, um, of the followers or their uh, delegates that they had under them, which I found very interesting. But um, I guess it also depends on the environment that you're in, because being that we deal with patients and sick patients as well, because it's a hospital, I guess you have to be more understanding or more empathetic in regards to that so i guess they kind of reflect that onto their uh, followers or the people that or the the employees that they manage um or lead in this case leadership so yeah so my view has changed in regards to now that i know the specific types of leadership and i can go ahead and pretty much know oh this manager that i had during this time has this specific style or was expressing this type of way uh this lady that i had is doing it this way so now i understand more where she was coming from so it was very helpful and i really like that uh that's, that was the first question the second question says what was the biggest takeaway for you from the subject of leadership I guess my biggest takeaway is um, now that I know the different styles of leadership that there is out there in the business world, um, I can go ahead and pick or choose based on my personality or my moral values or my you know integrity that I have inside. I can go ahead and select the one that best, the best fits me. Um, and use that once I become a leader myself. Um, I've never had, since I started working, I've never had a leadership uh, position per se. So I think that once I do, I it will, it will reflect on the materials that was given uh, here during this course. Um, I guess that's pretty much it in regards to the biggest takeaway. Uh, the third question states, which theory or framework left the greatest impression on you? Um, I guess the one that left the most impression for me would have to be towards the end of the uh, course. Uh, it 
it's the 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 topic was I believe it was chapter ten. It was servant leadership, um, which pretty much if servant leadership you know emphasizes that leadership should be attentive to the needs of the followers, you know empower them and make sure that they develop or they grow to their full um, capacity. Um, I feel that one is the one that left the greatest impression on me because I can fully say that specifically as of right now, that's my manager right now. I feel like that's her style that she, without even knowing it, that's her style that she uh, uses on us as her followers. Um, so it's nice to know that it does correlate into the real world, <laughs> uh, what we're learning now and what, we actually get to experience um, in our day to day life. Um, do you still think you are or are not a leader? Um, I always thought of myself as a leader. Um, depending on the situation that I that I am, I feel like I'm a good um, person that likes to. I don't want to say like lead per se, but I know that I can maybe persuade people into changing their way of thinking into the way of thinking that I have. And so I feel like, yeah, now that we've reached the end of this course, I feel that I still am a leader. Now I feel more of a leader knowing, you know, the different types that there are and the different skills and techniques that they possess. So to answer that question, yes, I still think that I am a leader. Um, and the last and final question says, what are the keys to effective leadership? Um, I wrote down uh, four. Yeah, I feel that in order to be an effective leader, you have to be patient with your employees or the, or the team that you're managing or that you're leading. Um, because not everybody is always going to think the way that you do or act the way that you would want them to act. So you have to be patient um, and take your time with each uh, team member. Um, empathy as well is one of the big ones. I feel like you have to be empathetic. Um, you know, place yourself into... Um, place yourself into their shoes and... You know, um, think about think about it if it was reversed, and see what happens. Uh, I feel like that is important and critical. Understanding, which kind of goes hand in hand with empathy as well. You have to be understanding of the other people that are in your team. And um, another thing that I wrote down is uh, you have to have great communication skills because communication is key. Not just in business, but in everything that you do. Uh, if you communicate, if you are able to communicate well enough, I feel like it would be uh, better for you per se, and also a great listener. Because if you don't listen, then you're you're not gonna be able to capture any, everything that they're trying to explain to you. Um, and I feel like those are the keys to you know effective leadership. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much, Professor Cartaya, or Eric as he'd like to be called, uh, for teaching us this course. I will be taking this um, with me um, once I graduate and into my day-to-day -day life if I stay in this current job or if I pursue another career. But um, thank you so much and have a good night.